What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, you know, I am a diehard Cowboy fan and, you know, a football fan. I, I love football season. You know, it's literally ingrained. I think my body literally gets ready for football season and knows it's just around the corner. I spend a boatload of money. I'm sitting here thinking about uh, the TVs because I've taken a bunch of the TVs that I have here down to the Red Brick House. But I need to get a couple more TVs because I've got, you know, the Sunday ticket. So that way I can watch those games. And see, this is where it's crazy because I'm paying for YouTube TV, which I'm happy with YouTube TV because I'm able to use it the same package and uh, at the Red Brick House in here. So, and I don't have to have a cable so I can just stream. But then the old TVs I have are useless unless I get a, you know, one of the cards and stuff. But be that as it may, I like being able to have multiple games on, on Sunday. I, I love it. I absolutely positively love it. What I don't love, of course, is paying the extra money for it. But it's okay. You know, I, I've got the, you know, it cost me $99 a month for my YouTube TV and then two ninety nine for all of the games, which is really 17 weeks of football. Uh, the Cowboys pretty much are on, you know, about 12 of those games. So it's really only about four or five games that you don't see the Cowboys on regular TV. I do watch the Eagles, the Giants, and the Commanders. So it is good to be able to have all those things. And we've got the man cave set up so we can all watch the games. Now, there was the lawsuit that came through, you know, and first the, the NFL was staring at $14 billion of money to settle this because Apple TV wanted to create Apple TV and Amazon wanted to basically customize it so you could buy smaller packages. They basically said, NFL, you're going to make the same amount of money, but we want to be able to break it up. NFL says, no, we want this to be a premium price point. Enter a couple of days ago, we see that the NFL Sunday ticket is now going to be able to customize it more so you can get different angles and you get more bonus stuff. You can see, of course, multiple games on one screen. You know, they're like, oh, this is it, okay? And this is where the NFL is saying it is a premium product, so we want this to be the price that it is. And by putting in these extra features that you can't get anyplace else, then you look at it and say, see, you, you, you want to go ahead and get that angle, you know, that, 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 that low angle or that corner shot and all that, you got to pay extra for it. It's a premium thing. So here is where I, I just came across this this morning before I was about to leave out to go do some work about the Apple store. Now that the lawsuit has been kind of settled, or I'm sure it'll be refiled, that the Apple store is now going to be able to have the Sunday ticket. So Apple users say, oh, okay, this is great. Until you realize that the price point for this is $700. Now, you don't have to get it from the Apple store, but I bet you, I bet you, and this is where I, I will tell you, when we worry about the salary cap and we say, oh, my God, you can't pay a pay player, you know, $60 million to be a quarterback. What you have to understand is, the salary cap is directly related to the revenue coming in. When you start saying $700 from the Apple store, that's an outlier right now. But I bet you what, I bet you what, now that the NFL is looking at this thing and saying, we're putting a premium, we've got carte blanche, you won't see it for $399 anymore guarantee you next year it will be even more and as you look at everything with the nfl is they're trying to get every nickel out of you so salary cap wise i want you to understand actually let's listen to this let's let's listen to pat mcafee show so that way you can understand what we're talking about here there's been some new ones, maybe, because of a ruling, speaking from Boston Connor's mind. Yeah, Florio, how do we feel about Apple getting in on the Sunday ticket? Obviously, a lot of people aren't too happy that it's going to cost, you know, about 700 bucks to watch on Apple, cheaper on some other platforms. So what are you thinking about that? And do you think that there's ever a day down the road where one platform will hopefully own just all of the games in, in maybe an NFL Plus, perhaps? 
It really is amazing when you think about the fact that simply selling it through the Apple App Store, you get that 30% surcharge because you can still buy it through YouTube at the normal price. It's still a high price, but it's not six, seven hundred dollars. So I don't know why anyone would do that. Yeah, maybe it's a little more convenient, but you're paying a lot more money for that thing. And I almost feel like in the aftermath of the NFL getting the verdict thrown out, the $4.7 billion that would have become $14.1 billion. It feels like somebody's sticking a finger in someone's eye by throwing this six, $700 figure out there. Because it really is. It really is obscene. And nothing's going to change anytime soon. The judge who handled that case hmm? just yesterday entered the judgment order. No change is made. It all goes forward the way it is. The NFL is not forced to do anything. It'll continue to play out in the courts. What was it? What'd you guys say? Too expensive. Oh, okay. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, shit, How sweet. about this one? Fucking more. Boom. <laughs> How about that? Isn't that? That is a. We're a business. We're allowed to do and charge whatever the hell we want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is that is how this whole thing goes. That's how it will go. But hopefully through the ruling and the process, there is a way in the future to figure out how you can, I don't want to say pay-per-view, but get a game that is maybe something that you don't normally have. And if you don't sign up for any of these, you wouldn't be able to get. So maybe a pay-per-view model down the road for certain games for people out of market or out of town or something. But hopefully they'll figure it out. But yeah, when that number rolled out, I thought it was a fake tweet. So when, I, when I read the tweet, I'm like, with what just happened, that can't be. And then you look into <laughs> yeah. it, and it's like, yeah, we are operating businesses. We had a plan, you know. This thing would have changed plans, but it's, right? Judge took that fucking, threw it all the way. Yeah, no thanks. So guess what we get to do? We're still doing the plan. The NFL is going to be king for so damn long. Yep. Yeah, so there you have it. The NFL, basically. And, and here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. This is just getting your feet wet in the water. This is going to be what the whole Sunday ticket, this is my mind, and we'll find out in a couple of years if I'm right or not. This will be the price point to get the whole Sunday ticket. And what they'll do is they'll probably end up making it so you could get the Dallas Cowboy package, wait for it, for like $2.99, for like the price of it now. You watch, because the thing was, what Apple was looking to doing and Google, or uh, I think it was Amazon was looking to do, was to be able to say, let's have a $80 package for individual teams. And the NFL's like, oh, no, 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 no. That's probably too cheap. If we go put it on Apple TV, boom. And then we go ahead and we add some more features to it boom they're gonna say well it, it costs more for production of it so now the price point will go up and now we're gonna give you a break you know it costs us a lot of money to do the whole platform and everything else so we're gonna go ahead and be able to lower the price to you guys to get just the games that you want at a discount see this is when you go to a furniture store you always see the regular price and you always department store furniture store you always see they got a 25 percent off sale and you go oh my god they, they, it's on sale it's on sale. baby we got to buy it right now what they've done is they've increased the price on the product and then they say it's on sale, 25% off. Yeah. That's what they do. It's the games they play. So this is the NFL. Don't worry about what you got to pay CD Lamb this year because the NFL, now that ESPN is now bet ESPN and everything else, that there's the gambling revenue that's out there that's all over the place, which is more money in the NFL. The salary cap will go through the roof all right good people as always i appreciate y'all and um i will see you soon i gotta go get some work done peace out